welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Viruses, these tiny, unseen invaders, come in all shapes and sizes. But one critical feature divides them into two distinct categories, enveloped and non-enveloped viruses. Today, we're exploring what makes these groups so unique and how these differences shape their behavior. Let's start with the basics. Viruses are incredibly simple structures made up of genetic material, either DNA or RNA, protected by a protein coat called a capsid. But some viruses go a step further. They steal a piece of the host cell's membrane to form a lipid envelope around themselves. These are what we call enveloped viruses. Famous examples include influenza virus, coronaviruses, and herpes viruses. On the other hand, non-enveloped viruses like rotavirus, poliovirus, and adenovirus lack this lipid covering. They're just the protein capsid and the genetic material inside. This simple structural difference has a huge impact on how these viruses behave. First, let's talk about stability. Enveloped viruses are delicate. Their lipid envelopes are sensitive to heat, drying out, and harsh chemicals like soap. This is why washing your hands with soap is so effective at breaking down enveloped viruses like SARS-CoV-2. But enveloped viruses are not all weak. Their lipid bilayer, derived from host cell membranes, helps them evade immune detection, hiding most viral antigens inside, leaving only the viral spike proteins exposed. Non-enveloped viruses, however, are much tougher. Without a fragile lipid envelope, they can survive extreme conditions, like acidic environments in the stomach, exposure to cleaning agents, high temperature, or long periods outside the host. That's why some non-enveloped viruses, like norovirus, are infamous for their ability to spread in challenging environments. This difference explains why hospitals use different disinfection protocols for different viruses, why hand sanitizers aren't effective against all viruses, and why certain viruses can survive longer in the environment. In our lab, we can observe these differences firsthand. When testing disinfectants, enveloped viruses tend to be inactivated quickly, while non-enveloped ones require stronger conditions or longer exposure times. Enveloped and non-enveloped viruses also differ in how they're recognized by the immune system. Enveloped viruses often have surface proteins embedded in their lipid envelope, which can frequently change or drift to evade immune detection. This is why flu vaccines need regular updates. Meanwhile, non-enveloped viruses rely on their stable protein capsid for attachment and entry, making their surface more consistent over time, which can sometimes make them easier targets for long-lasting immunity. Enveloped viruses exit host cells more gently through budding, while non-enveloped viruses cause cell lysis, bursting the host cell and releasing debris that attracts immune cells. Enveloped viruses typically spread through close contact, respiratory droplets, or bodily fluids because they require moist environments to survive. Non-enveloped viruses, in contrast, are often transmitted via contaminated surfaces, water, or food due to their resilience. To wrap things up, enveloped viruses may be fragile but excel in stealth and adaptability, while non-enveloped viruses are built for endurance, thriving in harsh conditions. Understanding these differences isn't just interesting, it's crucial for designing better disinfectants and treatments. Whether it's stopping the flu, preventing foodborne outbreaks, or developing new antiviral strategies, this knowledge helps us stay one step ahead of these microscopic invaders.